Welcome back to another episode of the Super J Recap. This is episode two, and we are still on the first round of the 1994 Super J Cup. Uh, this is the second first round match. It is representing uh, Social Pro Wrestling Federation Masayoshi Motiga, a wrestler, as if you couldn't tell from my pronunciation, I am not very familiar with. Uh, he doesn't really pop up too many places that I watch. So, um, and this is his only match in the Super J Cup. Uh, he is taking on New Japan Pro Wrestling representative El Samurai. And similar similar format to the the first match between Liger and Hayabusa in that I'm, I'm going to pronounce it Montigi because that's that's what I heard most on commentary starts off pretty hot and heavy once again uh, this very much was you know Samurai's got a couple matches so let's try and showcase ace this newer guy however I'm not saying he dropped the ball completely, but uh, there were a few rough patches here. Montigi uh, starts out with a, with uh, some drop kicks and follows it up with a suicide dive to the outside, and then goes for this double springboard, spring to the middle rope, spring onto the top rope, and he slips. You know, luckily he didn't you know fall too much, but. I think that kind of stalled his momentum. Uh, Samurai takes control from there. I'm I'm not a big uh, El Samurai fan either. I realized he he does a few things like he, you know, he hits a tombstone pile driver, which I completely forgot he used. Hits a release, uh, release Say Saido style suplex, kind of dropping and Montigi on his head. Masayoshi comes back and Samurai hits a suicide dive to the outside. And this is when I realized that all of the SPWF uh, seconds that were at ringside, they are all wearing Zubas because it is 1984, 1994. And it was awesome. From here on, it, it gets a, a little more back and forth. Uh, Samurai goes for a Hurricane Rana, uh, but gets power bombed, and then Masayoshi Montigi hits uh, the Rolling Romero special, actually, which was kind of cool because uh, this was, you know, as Liger was using it, so I'm sure he had to get, you know, special permission for that. But gets the Romero special, follows it up with a head scissor. Then does three big German suplexes, but El Samurai reverses the last one into a cover, but kicks out. Samurai hits a big German suplex and then follows it up with a power bomb for the win. It was it was a fine match. Like it's only like eight minutes long, so nothing to really go out of your way to see, but you know nothing, uh, you know too bad. So, it's just kind of just another match on this 1994 Super J-Cup. Uh, kind of the one that everybody forgets about because there's not that much to remember about it. Uh, make sure to like and subscribe on this channel for more updates. And you can follow me at Knocked Out Films and KnockedOutEntertainment.com. And I will see you later.